welcome back friends uh, in this video tutorial we'll be learning about the virus transmission and the different mode of viral transmission now this viral transmission usually depends on the type of host they are infecting you now viruses so let me write we'll be talking about virus transmission okay and usually there are two different uh, type of host one is a plant and another one is the animals in animals we are much more interested in human uh, because uh, we are the humans and except for that also other animal infections can be dangerous for us because it can be contagious so two types for plant virus or for animal virus there the infectivity or the mode of transmission is kind of different right so so let me talk for plant and for animal animals like humans the mode is varying right now for the plant viruses the mode of entry usually is made by vector or using vectors right now it uses vector now the vector means in this case vectors are like most of the time like insects or mites sometimes also fungi right so vectors can be vectors can be uh, insects vectors can be mites it can be nematodes worm like organism and also fungi so these things can act as vectors to transmit infection from one plant to another plant to transfer the infection from one plant to another plant right usually they are carried out by plants uh, by these vectors mostly by most of the infections uh, for plant infections are caused by this insect transmission right now in case of animals uh, the mode of infection can be different now in case of animals it can be via air so let me talk it can be via air an example uh, for this kind of infection is influenza virus influenza virus now it can also be transferred via food just like the bacterial infection via air via food now the type of viral infection uh, accomplished via food is example is rotavirus right food means in this case also water food or water both these things will be uh, in this part and rotavirus is a type of virus that are transmitted via these food materials like water or other food okay uh, this can also be transmitted sexually that is completely unique for animals definitely sexual transmission now in this kind of transmission we get the example is HIV or human immunodeficiency virus now in this case this will result finally in different type of STDs or sexually transmitted diseases, right? And finally, the fourth type of transmission can be via vectors. Via vectors, right? Now the vectors that in this case also it, it is usually uh, sometimes rodents. Rodents can act as vectors, uh, insects can act as vector mites can also act as vector and all these things now the example for this vector borne virus infection in human being is yolo fever and the virus is yolo fever virus so yolo fever virus okay so that's the general scheme of the virus transmission in plants as well as in animals and I hope that's kind of helped you. Thank you.